anything shaver. I don't know, but I love the idea and we're 50-50 in on this. Your next comic coming to the stage is the reason we're all here. He's a great guy. He opened up his yard to everyone on his birthday. You can clap for that. Because I have to say his name last when you intro somebody. But uh, he's an incredible guy. We're so excited to be here. The very funny Peter Akeley, everyone. guys give it for Greg one more time uh, we're actually here tonight because Greg's birthday is tomorrow and he was not allowed by his wife to have a backyard comedy show this month and he convinced me to but uh, honestly worth it uh, so uh, just I want to be a little bit relatable uh, so you y'all got moms yeah we all you all shoot out that vagina eventually <laughs> cool cool me too me too uh, no, it's weird with me, though, because my mom uh, came out as a lesbian when I was nine, which was really convenient for my bullies. Because, like, they immediately transitioned from Peter, you're gay, to Peter, you're genetically half gay. <laughs> and they had, like, the science behind it. And, like, I can't be arguing with pundit squares mathematically. Like, that's just, I'm not about to do that. But, yeah, it's my birthday. I'm 35 now, which was really exciting yesterday because... It was my last day being 34, and I got what I wanted, which was 34 convictions. You know, right? <laughs> Let's fucking go. I've been, I've been a little bit trying to get that going for a minute, and I was like, this is a pipe dream. But you hang out with pipes enough, they come true, you know? Right? <laughs> oh, man, I, I got to do a little bit of prop comedy really quick, and then we're going to get into some other stuff, really. I'm sorry. I just I have to do this. So this first object is something that I tried to give one of my comic friends uh, at a like a bar the other week, and uh, they got very physically upset and refused it. And now somebody's gonna have to take the sum because otherwise I'm gonna keep doing this joke. Uh, yeah, this is a cursed DVD that is a Fat Albert DVD. <laughs> And the reason I want to get rid of it is because just the widescreen and the full screen, it's no commentary. If it had commentary, I'd keep it. <laughs> but, but the cover does say, from the comedic mind of Bill Cosby, which, like, adds at least one curse, you know? <laughs> like, definitely this film itself was not a bad idea because they were like, let's make a racist cartoon real life. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. So... That's my first object. I'm sorry. Somebody, somebody has to physically take that home. I'm so sorry to whoever. Uh, the next one is one of my most favorite toys currently. Uh, it's a Pokemon plush that I bought in Europe that I have a little bit of a story about, guys. Uh, this is Alolan Diglett. <laughs> you guys know about Alolan Diglett? You guys know about Diglett? Any Pokemon people? Yeah, so Pokemon, they got so many that, like, sometimes they live in different islands and they're different types and shit. So this is like an ice diglet instead of a fighting diglet. So it's a wiglet, technically. I'm sorry. This is an Alolan wiglet. Shit. All right, so uh, I bought this at the International European Pokemon Championships in London, and it was very exciting. It was a business trip. Great time. I'll talk about it later in the next part. Uh... But yeah, so when I purchased this, it came in a sealed plastic bag. And uh, the poor attendant who was just working a day at the convention center spent literally two minutes trying to scan this into the scanner. <laughs> so, so for two minutes, I saw this. <laughs> and about a minute, and I was like, I'm so sorry that you're struggling with this. I hope you get it done as soon as possible, but I am dying. I'm going to have to physically laugh or I'm going to have to leave right now because you might be doing the best thing you could with that, which is hilarious. And she was like, this is terrible because this is not the first time this has happened with this plush thing today. And I was just like, yeah, they put too much words on those plastic bags. All right, cool. Let's see. Do I have anything else? I don't think I do. Let's double check. Uh, trash. <laughs> at some point, someone should look at my Pokemon and Magic cards, but not on stage. All right. Uh, so I've not gotten the lit light yet, no? You're about to. Cool, about to. Uh, so uh, one of my favorite things to do is travel. You guys like to travel? Yeah. 
it's always nice to like go to another city and find out that you're, that you're like technically rich because the economy is worse than your city. <laughs> I love that. It's fantastic. But I hate the opposite when you go to like a bigger city and they're like, no, nah, water is five dollars. And you're like, I'll drink out of a sink, I guess. Let's go. Uh, but no. So uh, one of the funniest experiences I've ever had traveling was I went to like Daytona Beach, in Florida, and like. I was just hanging out on the beach with my fiance and uh there was there was like a race there was like a marathon going on and as part of the promotion for the marathon uh the promoters had hired a live actor uh forrest gump because because why not like if you're gonna have an event invite a cosplaying forrest gump person you know like that's gonna bring people to your event you're gonna want to advertise that and so I was very impressed, and I was like, dude, you look great, and uh, you're killing the accent, and you've got a nice box of chocolates, dude. Like, can I get a photo with you? And he was like, oh, I'm actually about to leave. And I was like, I'll give you $5. And he was like, I can definitely take a photo with you, sir. And I, so I took a photo with this guy, and I was like, hey, mom. I texted her, and I was like, hey, mom, uh, ran to this. This was wild, right? Forrest Gump. I haven't seen him in a while. And my mom texted back, Wait, is that the real one or Tom Hanks? <laughs> Which is confusing, because, like, I guess my mom thought that there was a real Forrest Gump at some point. Which is fine. Like, that's acceptable. But the thing that upset me the most was that my mom thought that I would meet Tom Hanks and then refer to him as Forrest Gump. <laughs> that's just rude. Like, also, hopefully he's out of costume most of the time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh i'm gonna close pretty quick on this one uh you guys you guys uh you guys know about porn what yeah porn uh it's very popular uh i don't really have jokes about it i take it very seriously but it's something i'm very comfortable getting off to so thank you guys so much give it up for greg one more time and let's get a dice roll